Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have another fragrance video for you guys. I was in Marshalls the other day and I decided to go through their fragrance section and I actually found some fragrances that sounded like something I would like. I didn't get to smell them, so I only went by reading the notes and hoping that they were gonna work out. This video is right on time because my subscription service for Lux SB also came in the mail. They sent me over three fragrances that I wanted to share with you guys as well. So that will be included in this video. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you will know every time I upload a new video. I upload videos twice a week and it's mainly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see the fragrances that I picked up this month, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so first let's start with the Lux SB items because I haven't smelled these yet. I was waiting to do it on camera. I love the fact that I pretty much just told them the scents that I like, some of my favorite perfumes and what I'm normally attracted to. And then I get a surprise every month on what they decide to send me. Now, if you do decide to subscribe to the subscription service, I have my little notes right here because I want to make sure I tell you guys right. This is $15 a month. I do have a code in the description box and I'll put it across the screen. It's Barbell Barbie and that will get you 30% off your first month. So that'll make it only $9.75 you do get 0.3 ounces so it's nine mils of product in each tube and based on the research that i've done that's more than any other subscription service i think scentbird is like 0.8 so you are getting more and it's the same price i have talked about this before but this is also a woman-owned brand which is something that's important to me so i'm definitely glad that i was able to partner with them the way this works is just like with any other perfume subscription service, you do get to choose your fragrance. So every month you will go in, you will pick the fragrance that you want for that month and add it to your calendar. So when they get ready to ship it out to you, you will get what you want to try. If you like the fragrance, you get a coupon to be able to use to purchase a full size one later, which I think is awesome because we all know Fragrances can be super expensive. I think this is great for someone who's just starting a perfume collection and you're not really sure what you like, so you don't want to commit to a big bottle. But at the same time, if you're trying to grow your collection, but you're not really sure or you want to venture out into more niche products that aren't in Sephora or Ulta or Nordstrom or wherever, this is a great way to do it. So we're going to get into the scents that they sent me this month. This is what the packaging looks like. Love the holographic and it is bubble packed. So nothing's going to get smashed. It does come in this little box right here. Now your monthly subscription, you get one, but they were kind enough to send me three. You do also get this little travel case this month. There were two different ones so there is a blue and a green i think these are so cute and i love them because you twist up to be able to access the fragrance to be able to spray it and then when you need to change it out you just pull this out easy but i love that it twists up and down because it will not accidentally spray in your purse or your suitcase or wherever you decide to pack it i also love that they have female fragrances and male fragrances as well as unisex so if you're shopping for yourself or you're shopping for your significant other, you have options for that as well. So the first scent that they sent me is the Mansara Jardin Exclusive. I did get a Mansara fragrance last month and I think it was a sweet one. I'll have to double check, but this one, I was a little nervous at first because I was like, Jardin, as in garden, as in grassy, is this going to be good? I don't know but it does say that it has a bewitching nectar of citrus and velvety fruits it's an alliance of a floral and greedy accord and it says the top notes are sweet candy lemon orange green apple white peach williams pear and black currant the heart is jasmine rose violet and gray amber and then the base is a white musk sandalwood and vanilla this one 
it's not as sweet as the one I had before. It was definitely more of a candy. But I definitely like how this smells. I'll definitely have to wear it to see how it mixes with me. But just based on what I'm smelling from the tube, for sure. I don't want to spray it because I have to smell these other ones. And I want to be able to describe it to you guys accurately. But just from the tube, from the base, I absolutely I like this a lot. The next one we're going to talk about is, okay, when I pulled this out, I was like, yo, this is white. I have never seen. This is white. This is Maison. Oh, Lord. Sybarit. Sybarit. S-Y-B-A-R-I-T. -E. I don't know. Paris. Bed of Roses. I was a little nervous because, look, I realize I like florals. Sometimes roses can be hit or miss because I don't want to smell like a momo. Top notes are saffron, cardamom, mandarin, and bergamot. Middle notes are rose and orris. And then the base is cedar, patchouli, and tulu? Tolu? T-O-L-U. I'm going to spray it. See, it's actually white. I don't know if you guys can see that on my arm. It is white. Mm, I don't know about this one. I'm going to have to let it sit. I'm trying to figure out what it is. There's something in here. It's almost like a spice that I'm smelling. This one, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated on how it wears throughout the day, but I don't, that this is not one of my favorites. I definitely like the other ones that they've sent more. And the last one, this is Carner barcelona latin lover so this one is also a niche fragrance and oh you can't even buy this in the u.s hmm okay well it says the scent is irresistible with heady and herbaceous notes of bergamot narcissus and patchouli it says the top notes are italian bergamot lang lang may oh y'all Listen, I'm not about to clown myself. I'll put it on the screen. So Chinese magnolia flowers. The middle notes are violet, jasmine, narcissus absolute, and lily of the valley. And then the base notes are benzoin, patchouli, and white musk. This is very fancy. It says the main accord is floral and then citrus, powdery, violet, fresh, amber, and musk. I usually like stuff like this. I'm scared I'm not gonna be able to smell it with the one I just sprayed. Oh no, I can smell this and I like it. Oh yeah, I wish I could spray it on me now. I won't, but I like this. I definitely like this one. This one first, then the Mansara Jardin second, and then the Bed of Roses last. Latin Lover is definitely one that you should check out if you're into scents that I like. So like Versace Bright Crystal, My Burberry Blush, um, Jo Malone Peony and Blushed Suede. Brushed Suede? Blush. Blush. Yeah, I really like this one. So now let's move on to the ones that I purchased. I'm going to start off with the one that I'm disappointed about because I think it stinks. I ain't even going to lie to you. I bought this because I saw this when it first came out and I was like, oh my God, the packaging, I would buy that just for the packaging. However, I would have still liked for it to smell good. This does not smell good to me at all. This is the Marc Jacobs Decadence Perfume. Y'all, first of all, this is what the box looked like. And then look how big this is. This is 3.4 fluid ounces. So never gonna run out of it because i'm probably not gonna spray it it this is what the bottle looks like and then this is what did it for me this is the top so when you put them together it looks like a freaking purse like are you kidding me i was like this is gonna be gorgeous just to have in my beauty room with the little tassel but i can't stand the smell of it i don't like it and I got this big old bottle and I'm probably never gonna wear it. This, let me read the notes to you. It said, maybe because it's woody. I can do some woody scents for men, but I don't like it on me. 
It says the main accords are woody, then it goes fruity, amber, iris, earthy, warm, spicy, and leather. I don't like anything that smells leather. Any leather, the Tom Ford leather, the, uh, I can't, commodity leather, no. Can't do it, don't like it. So that's probably what it is. It says this is an oriental floral fragrance. Top notes are plum, saffron, and iris. Middle notes are orris, Bulgarian rose, and jasmine. Base notes are amber, vetiver, and papyrus. You read it and it's like, Barbara, that sounds like something you should like, but it is not. No way, shape, or form. I don't know what's throwing it off. Maybe the saffron, because that's different. And the papyrus is also different from what I normally buy. I just, I can't. It's gonna be in my beauty room and it is gonna be cute. This is gonna be some very expensive decor for my closet. The next one I picked up, this is the Tory Burch Bell Azor. Now I did show you guys in another video that I picked up the Tory Burch Azor Nui or Nui Azor. I'll put the name on the screen. So I saw this one and I was like, oh, well, if it's the same, it might be similar, but I'm guessing it would have to be different, right? The bottles look very similar. They smell pretty much the same. I haven't sprayed this, but I like it. I like the other one. I like this one. I think that it is very similar to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which is why I like it. That's one of my all-time favorites, and I finally just threw that bottle away. I had that bottle probably for 15 years, and it started turning, so I got rid of it, but I love how this one smells. The next one that I picked up is this Marc Jacobs Rain Eau de Toilette. This one is 3.4 fluid ounces. Guys, I'm sorry, I don't remember how much I paid for each one because I didn't pay attention when she was ringing them up. The notes on this one say that it is an aromatic fruity fragrance that has a blend of pear, lemon, bergamot, juniper, gin, freesia, teak, amber, and musk. This one, this comes across to me as like a clean yeah, it's a clean, like that kind of, I don't know, I feel like every time it's blue, it has that aquatic smell to it. I don't know if you know what I mean, like ocean, rainwater, kind of. I don't know how to explain it other than that, but I feel like every blue fragrance that I have is like that. This one says aquatic, fresh, floral, sweet. There's a little bit of woody, but citrus and musk. I would wear this for like every day, just want to put something on to smell good, but by no means, it's not heavy enough for me. I like stuff that really packs a punch. This one is just, it smells good. It's clean, but it's just, it's very soft and I don't normally wear soft fragrances. So not a bad purchase, but not, I'm not like excited that I got it. It's just like, okay, I'll add it to the collection. This one, this is, I've never had any Calvin Klein. I don't think, I don't feel like this is really like any kind of big special expensive brand but it says this is euphoria blush and of course since it said blush i was like "Ooh, that might be right up my alley first of all look at how cute this is so you know it's gonna be one of my display ones this i like how it smells i figured i would because it says blush but let me tell you the notes so this one says the main accords are fruity, then sweet, rose, floral, woody, warm, and spicy. It says top notes are raspberry, blackberry, mandarin, orange, and pink pepper. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell that. And then the middle notes are rose, jasmine, and orchid. Base notes are chocolate, patchouli, cashmere, wood, and white amber. I love how this smells. Like this is very similar to my Burberry blush. So I think that's probably why. I can't wait to wear this one. I just hope it lasts long. I don't know if this is gonna be like a fragrance that lingers or you spray it and it smells good for a while and then it's gone. That'll make me mad. But love the packaging and I think this is amazing. New, probably this will be like my, this could be a date night, but only if it's like a quick date. The last one I picked up is a cologne. I did pick this up for Janet. This is the Michael Kors Extreme Blue. I did just pick this up on a whim because it's Michael Kors. It is blue. <laughs> I told you guys what I think about that. So they didn't have any big bottles. Marshalls doesn't have a big selection of 
like more name brand men stuff. It was all some stuff I had never heard of. And I was like, uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. So let me look up the notes for this one. So this is what the bottle looks like. Very cute, very just sleek and sexy and would look cute on a vanity. Y'all know how I am about looks. This says the main accords are aromatic, musky, fresh, spicy, woody, citrus, powdery, and amber. This one says the top notes are bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, and angelica. Cardamom, excuse me. Middle notes are ju juniper, cypress, sage, and sesame. Base notes are cashmere, musk, and amber. I feel like I'm a repetitive parrot whenever I'm talking about fragrances, but I know what I like. So if you like anything that I have named and our noses are the same, you will probably like most of the stuff I named. Minus this. This is horrible. This is so bad. All bad. I'm sorry if you like it. Our noses are very different, but I don't. That is it for this video. Super excited about the stuff that I picked up. Really excited about the items that I got in my subscription service this month. I cannot wait because Barcelona, Corner Barcelona Latin Lover, this will definitely be a date night scent for me. And I'm probably gonna see about getting a full bottle of it because this shit smells good. Thank you guys for sticking with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, join the family, click that subscribe button and stay. I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.